Well, hello all. Today we're going to be looking at work, energy and power and how it applies to moving objects. Now, every moving object has a certain amount of energy and the energy is called kinetic energy, the energy of movement. And it has this formula, half mv squared. So if we know the mass of the object, we know the velocity of the object, we can work out its kinetic energy. So let's do a classical example of what happens when we have a certain object moving at a certain velocity and then it doubles its velocity what happens to its energy so we first got to work out how much is its energy in the first case and then compare it to the amount of energy after its velocity has doubled so let's take a case we have a certain object that is moving so let's say e case one is a half mv squared. So we have a case one where an object has a half mv squared and we want to know what will happen to its kinetic energy if we double the velocity. So what we allow to do is we allow to just for our own clarification we allow to say let's give it a mass of say an easy number like one. Let's give it a velocity to start with v1. Let's give it a nice easy velocity to start off with of one meter per second mass of one kilogram actually makes no difference but the main point is now when we plug in the value it's a half times one times one squared and the answers are half a and the energy is measured in joules so case one object moving at a any old velocity but we've chosen the velocity Choose an easy number like 1. You could have made the mass 2, which would have made this even easier to have a comparison of. Now we've got a second case where the same object, E case 2, the same object, so it can, has the same mass, but a different velocity 2 squared. Now what are the values here? Well, we know it's the same mass, so m is still equal to 1 because it's, that hasn't changed but v v2 is equal to 2 times v1 which is equal to 2 times 1 that is equal to 2 so this, in the second case v2 is twice the velocity of the original one 2 times 1 is 2 meters per second so now we plug in our value, which is a half times one times two squared, and that comes to, that's half of four, and that comes to half of four is two joules. So have a look at that. We originally had a half a joule, but when we go double the velocity, we actually have four times four halves is two, four times as much energy in an object traveling at twice the speed. Do you see that? So there's a square relationship. If you go two times two squared is four. If you, if you had to go three times the speed, I know the answer is going to be it's going to have nine times because three squared, velocity squared, is going to be nine. Okay, so that would be two joules. Now let's suppose you've worked it out like this. This is how they're going to phrase the question. They're going to say, if in the first case the amount of energy it had was W, what will the amount of energy be in the second case? Will it be 1W, 2W, 3W or 4W? Now you're going to look at that and you're going to say, if W is a half, 2 represents 4w. So you're going to go through your multiple choice questions and you're going to choose the answer 4w. So that is how you're going to have to be able to look at that and see what, how much bigger is this one than that one. Now here's another type of question, very tricky, that they're going to ask you. They're going to say to you, if, um, how much has this increased by now we know that this is equal to 4w, 
But how much has it increased by? Well, if you want to work out the increase of something, you're going to take the second answer. 2 minus a half equals 1 and a half. And 1 and a half, if a half, if a half equals W, 1 and a half equals 3W. So can you see that it's actually increased? The amount of increase has been, it's increased by 3W. So there's two types of very tricky question. If it's original energy was a half, and they say let that be W, its final is going to end up with four times as much, but how much has it increased by? And to find the increase, you've got to take the final minus the initial, 2 minus a half, it's increased by 1 and a half. But if the original half was W, then 1 and a half is equal to increase of. So it goes from a half plus a half is 1, plus another half is 1 and a half, plus another half is 2. So it's increased by, the increase has been by 3W. But, but don't be confused by the question. This one has actually got four times as much as that one, but the increase is 3W.